Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading. We're switching things up this time around and we're doing a 411 reading where we're going to look at everything you need to know about your connection, aka the 411. So we're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, what's going on in your connection, what you need to know, what's challenging or blocking the connection and the potential outcome. So we're going to get right into it because we have a lot to cover for Sagittarius spirit in regards to love this will be for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching so just keep that in mind for Sagittarius all right let's get into this let's look at your energies first tell me about Sagittarius and the energies they're bringing to this connectant connection <laughs> tell me about Sagittarius please how are they thinking or feeling in this connection with this other person? Wedding. This situation involves marriage. Okay. So some of you want to be married or are already married. Past life relationship, you have known each other before. Okay, tell me about this person that Sagittarius is in a connection with. What are their energies? What are they thinking or feeling at this time? Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Okay, Sagittarius, so I have you on this side and your person on this side over here, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more. Um, I'm getting some weird energy here. I don't know why. I mean, these are good cards to get, but for some reason, I'm feeling something's a bit off. I'm going to ask for one more round of cards here. Tell me more about Sagittarius, please. Can you get one more? Sagittarius soulmate <laughs> so you both are this is a strong connection possibly someone you feel is your soulmate here tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with I we'll have to get into a tarot to see why I feel so strange right now tell me more about Sagittarius and the person Pay attention to the red flag. See what I'm talking about? The signs are cautioning you. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into this. What's at the bottom here? Healing family issues. Okay. So which one do I want? Okay. Let's look at the mutual energies first, and then we'll jump into the tarot. Tell me about the mutual energies, please. For Sagittarius, mutual energies. And this connection. Okay, can I get one more? Mutual energies in this connection, please. Any other insight you can get to this connection? Education, details, details, spark at the bottom. What I'm picking up here is that there's some, it's, it's almost like you are analyzing the situation. You or this other person are because this is mutual energy, so both of you are here. It's like you're really looking deep at this connection, what it's about, trying to gain some clarity. See how this little magnifying glass, the word is clarity here. Kind of sitting, thinking, pondering. So let's get into this for Sagittarius. There's still something going on here. I feel like there is a very strong connection, a soulmate type of connection. But I feel, you know, one of you is definitely married. Um, and I feel like there's something a bit off possibly about your person here. We'll see. What's going on? And like I said earlier, this will not resonate with everyone. So you'll know if it's your reading soon enough here. All right, Spirit, tell me about this connection. Help me set down the cards here for Sagittarius, their person in this connection. Let's start with you, Sagittarius. 
Well, there you are. Temperance reversed. What else for Sagittarius? The moon. You see, there's something here. A knight of pentacles. There's something here that you are unsure of, don't know, don't really understand at this point. Um, something you might even be feeling impatient about or something that's just not working out the way that you expected it to. Pisces energy here with the moon. And this has to do with some sort of an offer, some sort of opportunity here. I'm going to clarify all of these, but it's almost like there's something here that you're trying to figure out because something hasn't really come together. Maybe you don't have um, communication coming in or the type of communication you want to have. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with. Move this over here. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with, please. Six of Cups reverse. Queen of Pentacles reverse. Interesting. Knight of Cups reverse, Knight of Swords reverse. Okay. So what I'm picking up here, Four of Wands reverse at the bottom. This person could also be in some sort of commitment here or some, some sort of family situation. We did have healing family issues at the bottom of the deck here. Um, I feel like this is someone that cannot give you something right now. I have the Knight of Cups reverse, the Knight of Swords reverse. They might not even be telling you the whole truth about the fact that they can't give you something right now. Um, hopefully they're not kind of like trying to hide that they're, you know, unable to give you something. This could be somebody from the past returning, or it could be that someone here, um, this is a very strong connection. And I feel like it's a little twisted, almost like obsessive. We'll see if I'm right about that. Uh, with the Knight of Cups reverse, Knight of Swords reverse, this is someone that's going to tell you exactly what you need to hear. So you can't really trust what they say, or if that's not the case, they're unable to communicate with you about a certain truth here. What's going on in this connection? What is going on in this connection here? Tell me. The Magician Reverse and Nine of Pentacles Reverse. That kind of makes sense because I feel like one of you is attached here and not completely free. And someone's trying to manifest something here, but there's like something off about that. Tell me more about this connection. Okay, this Five of Cups wants to come out. Five of Cups Reverse, Three of Pentacles Reverse, Death, reverse, death Reverse. Scorpio Energy with the Death Card Reverse. Um, five of Cups Reverse. This is a kind of a good card to get. When it's reversed, we'll clarify and see. Um, but the Five of Cups reverse is someone that's wanting to recover what was lost. I feel like this is probably not really being manifested right now. I feel like there's some sort of interference or something not working out with the Three of Pentacles reverse. And with Death reverse, it's like something that needs to end hasn't ended or someone's resisting an ending here. Like they don't want something to be over. Bottom here. King of Swords reverse, Six of Wands reverse, Lovers reverse, definitely. Yeah, this is um, for the Sagittarius that I'm talking to at this time for this reading. Because um, I know I'm going to get some people who are like, I don't care about the past, you know, whatever. Fine. Um, I cannot help the cards that come out. So I'm just going to tell you, uh, this is somebody that I feel you already know and want to be with. This is someone who possibly is married or you are married or in a higher level of commitment here. And something has not manifested between you. And I feel like one of you or both of you are trying to figure out just how this can work or perhaps want to discover a certain truth. And I feel like it's probably you because I have the moon on your side and then your person over here that's not really being upfront about something or is not able to communicate something. So that's who I'm talking to. All right, so let's clarify these energies here. Just gonna help clarify these energies, please. For Sagittarius. Okay, let's start with you, Sagittarius. What's this moon about? 
I'm not gonna clarify every single card, but the ones that I feel like I want more clarity on here. Tell me about the moon. Higher font reverse. This is something to do with like commitment or a broken commitment in Knight of Wands. I wonder if you're if you're like doubting whether this person's willing to commit to you or if they're just playing around with you. Knight of Cups reverse, definitely. I feel like you're unsure of this person's true intentions or have doubts about this person's intentions towards you here. Yeah, Five of Cups reverse. It's almost like this person, um, maybe it didn't work out for some reason and both of you have been like missing each other. But now that you're, you know, this person, it's almost like um, you haven't really been able to let this go. Like you feel a, a tie to this person. Something here with a commitment and with someone like not committing. Bottom of the deck, the devil. I feel like there's, yeah, it's almost like um, like an obsession or, or almost like a very unhealthy tie or very strong bond that keeps you tied. And it has to do with something that happened in the past with this person. I feel like you're waiting for some sort of an offer here, Sagittarius. And, you know, it's almost like you're you're becoming impatient or you're wondering how much time it's going to take with Temperance Reverse. Tell me about Temperance Reverse. Two of Coin Reverse, whether someone's going to make a decision here. Yeah, if, if there's going to be a change, a new beginning here in your connection, I have the Wheel and the Fool. Are, is someone going to take a risk to be with you? Is someone going to have a new beginning with you? I feel like you've been waiting for something to change here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Nine of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this person hasn't been able to give you something out of fear. Yeah, they're just, they're unable to give you something. Even if, even though you're their nine of cups here, you are their wish fulfillment or they have a wish when it comes to you with this page of coin reverse. It's like they don't have the resources, the finances or the ability here to even give you something small. Tell me about this knight of swords reverse and the knight of cups reverse. Eight of cups reverse. Maybe this person has been telling you that they're trying to leave a situation or return to you. Yeah, it's this this is something that I feel there's communication here. But I don't know if this is communication you can completely trust. Empress. Four of Wands reverse at the bottom again. It's almost like with the Empress here, like they want to grow something they see you as someone valuable however with this four of wands reversed i feel like this person is like in an unstable environment or isn't able to really offer stability at this time i feel like they're talking to you about returning or leaving a situation uh, or there's communication coming in about that with the eight of wands but um with the knight of swords reverse and the knight of cups reverse Again, you know, take it how it resonates. Either they're not telling you this or they're making promises they can't keep. There's something you don't know about what they're telling you. It's like something hidden here. Tell me about this Five of Cups reverse. Six of Wands reverse. Tell me about this Five of Cups reverse. Queen of Wands reverse. Eight of Coin reverse. King of Wands at the bottom. I feel like maybe um, this what th something wasn't successful in the past. Someone possibly cared a little bit too much about appearances or what people would say. Um, or it just wasn't successful. Whatever happened in the past wasn't successful. I feel like either one of you or both of you are not over it. It, it just, you know, this is, 
This is someone that wasn't able to put in the effort or just didn't want to put in the effort. And I feel like this pissed you off or upset you with the Queen of Wands reverse. I feel like this is you and this is your person, the King of Wands here. Devil right after that. You know, it's almost like there's, there's, it could also be that this King of Wands wants to take action, wants to recover what was lost, you know, when it didn't work out, but they, they have some sort of interference or they're not able to make this happen here. But I don't think it's a coincidence that I have the Three of Pentacles reverse and the Eight of Pentacles reverse. Two cards about work and effort, and they're both reversed. Tell me more about this three of pentacles reverse. So it's like someone wasn't able to put in any effort or didn't want to work on this with you. King of wands, three of pentacles reverse, please. Yeah, six of cups. This is some, some, something here. There could be, um, they have a queen of coin at the bottom with the six of cups there. There could be someone here who has children or is a parent. Yeah, three of cups right after that reverse. Um, do you, yeah, um, this could be somebody that is already in a commitment and I keep getting these messages. I don't know what's going on with my signs, but I feel like everybody's in a third party. <laughs> There's always something in the way, you know? And the third party does not have to be another person, but does not have to be another relationship. It can be, you know, the fact that someone has children. The fact that someone is fearful or has an, uh, a family member that meddles or a parent that meddles. Maybe they don't have finances or stability. Maybe they're too focused on their career. Maybe it's long distance. Um, and that interferes in a connection having, you know, success. So there's something here that's just not, it's, it's almost like it's keeping you both from having this six of cups, even though someone feels like you know, they're your soulmate because this person thinks you're, you know, you feel like you're each other's soulmate here. Very sweet connection. I feel like your person though is struggling with the fact that they can't be with their soulmate, that they can't offer their soulmate something. Um, and I feel like the signs are cautioning you about this person, Sagittarius, or this person starting to, to wake up to the fact that they can't keep this up. What's this death card reversed about? Yeah, the lovers. Someone here doesn't want, you know, it could be that someone needs to end a partnership and hasn't. Um, it could be that someone needs to make a new decision here. Can get one more for death reverse. It could also be that someone doesn't want this connection as little as it is to end between you king of swords uh, queen of coin at the bottom again with the three of cups behind that can i get one more for the death card please for death reverse can i get one more five of wands yeah it's, it's almost like this is a conflict here someone needs to break free of their fear eight of swords reverse I feel like they're fearing conflict. Like they, they, they fear the, the backlash that this is going to cause whatever decision this is that they have to make. Um, and, and it's almost like they know what they have to do with the King of Swords. Like they know what the decision needs to be, you know, when it comes to the lovers here, the partner that they want to be with. But, you know, that doesn't mean that they're going to do something about it. I do see them breaking free of their fear. And then right after that, I see an ace of wands. So I see potential here, but we'll look into this a little bit further to see if this person's going to act on, you know, what, what we need to know about this connection specifically. So let's see what we need to know here. I'm going to use my new um, secret moon Oracle deck. I, this is a sample of it, but this is going to be my new deck here. And it, this is just a very small sample. The deck is much bigger, but I really, really love it. So I want to start using it. And I ordered another one, so it should get here in a couple weeks. All right, so Spirit, tell me more. What, what do we need to know about this person or this connection? What do we need to know? What's the 411 here? Okay, we got I have changed. Here, one more.
I know I made a mistake. Okay, so your person feels, yeah, and then at the bottom, I wasn't honest with you. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's almost like your person hasn't been completely honest with something that they're telling you here. You know, they've changed, you know, they know they made a mistake. They recognize what they've done. I just wonder if they've actually told you what that is. What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius, please? What else do we need to know? Eight of Cups Reverse. I feel like this person wants to... Hold on, let me see. What else do we need to know? Got the Two of Cups Reverse. Yeah, I feel like this person needs to end a commitment here or you need to end a commitment in order to return to somebody. Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Definitely, this is like you love each other. Like there's no doubt about that. I feel like you both want to be together. You both love each other. But, you know, someone's undecided. So let's see. What are the challenges or the blockages? Challenges or blockages about this connection or interfering in this connection? What are the challenges or the blockages for Sagittarius in this person? Okay, I'm going to just flip this over like it is. Yeah, three of coin and judgment. Three of coin kind of came out in limbo. So, you know, again, effort, work, um, investment, hard. You know, this is someone that is willing to work with you, is willing to put in some serious effort here. Judgment. I feel like, you know, if someone really does want a second chance here, if someone, you know, is serious about returning to you, they need to be able, like willing to put in the work. Like this is, you're either in or you're out. And, you know, I have the devil again. So I feel like there's something, you know... It's almost like someone needs to have an awakening about what they truly want, the situation they find themselves in, if they want to be stuck forever, um, if they want to be, you know, in the situation they're in, because something's not working for your person here. Challenges or blockages. Can I get one more for this connection? Lovers reverse. Yeah, I feel like... Um, Someone here needs to be careful because they can't make the wrong choice. The lovers is all about a choice, guys. You know, it, it's 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 a union that takes place after someone has made a decision between what their mind is telling them and what their heart is telling them. When it's reversed like this, this is someone who has regret over a choice or who chooses wrong. It could also be some sort of separation. There could be a separation between you right now that is keeping you from being together. You know, if this is distance or it's just your situations. Yeah. Let me clarify. I just want to clarify the lovers real quick. Let me clarify the lovers, please. If my cards want to shuffle. Clarify the lovers, please. I feel like someone has to make a judgment call, and that, that's like a big challenge here. Yeah, see? Someone is undecided. And look what's at the bottom of the deck. What are the odds that I have the lovers reverse? Same card. What's behind that? King of Pentacles reverse. Someone's possibly already in a commitment. The King of Pentacles for me as a, as a reader, he's usually already in a long-term commitment. If this isn't someone already in a commitment, it's someone that's financially in, uh, not stable. Uh, maybe they don't have a job. Maybe they are very greedy or very stubborn. But for a lot of you, I feel like this person, I have the wedding card here. One of you is in a commitment. that I, And I feel like that keeps this from moving forward. Tell me more about the lover's reverse. 
yeah this is this this has brought some instability to this connection someone's not giving to the other person what the other person wants to give for them this person could be breadcrumbing you as well tell me about judgment oh my god that's way too many that was three and it's like seven cards <laughs> tell me about judgment for Sagittarius yeah strength card reverse Leo energy strength card reverse um, someone doesn't have courage or strength or it could be someone's been trying to control this situation but you know I feel like they're having some sort of awakening about that that there's yeah there's no movement here and then I have the seven of swords reverse at the bottom something here I feel you don't know or are about to find out it's like communication hasn't come in and then you find something out or there's a blocked message but you still find out anyway something like that um, so uh, eight of wands reverse could also be like stuck not moving um, I feel like someone's been trying to control this situation or is becoming a little bit impatient and not letting things really unfold naturally um, it's like they want commitment, they want stability, they want, you know, a loyal partner. But I feel like for that to happen, and, and I also feel like this is someone that wants a second chance. But there's no movement here. There's no courage, you know. It's almost like they're trying to control the wrong thing. Alright, so... Let's look at the potential outcome. I'm going to use a different deck. Potential outcome, please, for Sagittarius and this other person. Also, let me know if this reading is resonating for you and in what way. Um, is this person your soulmate? Are you in a commitment or is your other person in a commitment? Because I love to hear how the readings are resonating for you guys. I don't want to pick a card yet, sorry. Here we go. Potential outcome, please. For Sagittarius potential outcome please okay let me clear this up here so I don't have such a mess so what I see here is um someone's waiting to hear from another person with this three of wands it's like they've sent out a message which kind of makes sense because I have the page of swords here it's like they've sent out a message and are waiting to hear back what's at the bottom five of cups you're missing this person this person's missing you or someone's regretting you know i know i made a mistake i've changed um this could be your person having regrets there's a delayed new beginning here i feel like someone is kind of um shooting themselves in the foot here through either the way they're approaching this situation the lack of decision making or or, or someone not making the right choices I feel like it's delaying a new beginning. It's, it's almost like someone is unprepared, but they're willing to talk to you with a page of swords. They could even be watching you on social media, trying to, you know, keep up with you, see what you're up to. They could be sending you a text or some sort of message online or, you know, on social media. I feel like they want to talk. But for some reason, I'm also picking up, it's like you've waited so long. You know, it's like you, you're you still in this waiting period, which I feel like you've been in for a while. And I think you're at the point where, you know, we need to figure out if we're going to do this or not. If you need to tell me the truth, I'm not interested in anything else. I want clarity about what where this is going. Do you feel the same way? You know, this is someone here you know both of these pictures are with someone with a book so, you know so it's like doing research um figuring out answers you know the truth i want to know i want to know i think there's a lot of disappointment here with the five of cups someone's really 
you know, upset or, or regretful over what has happened. But I just don't see in the future here, in the potential outcome, this is the potential outcome in the near future. I, I only see com communication. I don't really see anything else. All right, I'm going to leave it here, Sagittarius. Um, if you'd like to support the channel for free, please consider liking or subscribing to the channel. It's a great way of supporting the channel and helping us grow. Thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, and subscribed already. I really appreciate it. All right, Sagittarius, I'll see you all in another video. Take care.